Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex bringing you another tutorial for Technituts. Gonna go over some high quality settings for Pinnacle Studio. Uh, I'm currently in 12 Ultimate, but you know, they'll work in pretty much any other Pinnacle Studio. So you're gonna head over to your Capture tab. By default, your screen will probably look like this when you open it. Go to Capture. Just finished recording my uh, Dead Air Achievement Guide. That'll be up tonight. So you're going to go to your settings down here. You're going to want to choose custom and then hit settings. Now for your capture source, you're going to want to choose your Dazzle or whatever you're using. I'm using my DVC 100. And then for TV standard, I'm on NTSC. So if you're on PAL or CCAM, choose that. But if you're on NTSC, go with NTSC. And then for aspect ratio, I like 16 by 9. You can do 4x3, but that's square. 16x9 fits the new widescreen YouTube player. Now one other trick you can do is you can set your Xbox to, or your PS3 or Wii, whatever you have, to set that to widescreen, and then Pinnacle will get the widescreen signal, and it will have to distort it less. So that can help your quality too. It'll be less stretched out, and it looks nicer overall. A lot of people say having the capture preview off improves your quality. I honestly, I've tried it. I don't think it helps it at all, so I just leave it on. If your computer is really bad, like you have 512 megabytes of RAM or less, then, you know, maybe turning off capture preview may help. But I think for the most part, and most other people, leaving it set to on is probably the best option. Choose no auto scene detection, then go to capture format. MPEG 1 slash 2 and choose custom settings you're gonna wanna leave MPEG type as MPEG 2 put the resolution as high as it'll go 720 by 480 and then hit your data rate I keep mine around 9000 uh, kilobytes per second anywhere above 5000 and you should get pretty decent quality I just like 9000 because I think it gives pretty good quality. It's basically uncompressed almost. It's almost too AVI, but it has no interlacing. Compression, MPEG-2. Sample rate, 48KHZ. Project preferences, just, you know, don't mess with any of that stuff. That's only useful if you're going to edit in Pinnacle, which most of you, I doubt you're going to. Video and audio preferences, uh, don't mess with that. Enable hardware, acceleration, and other than that, you should be fine, just don't mess with anything in there. Then hit OK. And then make sure you have custom settings checked when you go to record. Go to your audio capture. If you want audio, hit on. If you don't want audio, hit off. I happen to enjoy having audio, so I'm going to leave that on. Now under your video control panel, I record in S-Video. If you have composite, make sure it's on composite. But I have S-Video. S video is way better. It's almost like HD. It's pretty close, but it's not quite there. And then you can adjust your brightness, contrast, and all that stuff, your colors, your hues. Do that how you want. I just leave it default and then change that stuff in Sony Vegas. So that's it. Easy as that. Hit Start Capture. Name your file, and you're done. Hit Start. When you're done, hit Stop Capture. Import it to your editing program. Edit, render, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. This has been Kiwi. I mean, well, now I'm Alex, whatever you want to call me. Um, subscribe, rate, comment, favorite, tell your friends, all that good stuff. Recently hit 150 subscribers, so thanks for that. I started at zero, and now I'm at 150. Most people start at zero, I'm not going to lie. So thanks a bunch for that. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash gpual3x. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.